I don't know if you know that we have cabaret meetings. And so an ad on our meetings and your parents sometimes come to it. And it's every two years. We sort of switch off between a cabaret night and then a gala night um, to, to help raise funds for the school. I just remember my first time going cabaret with Miss Jericho. Um, and Mr. Borston and Miss Turner, and we still have this photo on your bulletin board. They were the MCs and Master of Ceremony. That means that you know they, they, they do the whole show and they introduce everybody. And Mr. Borston was in a baby blue tuxedo polyester with a white shirt with frills and a bow tie. And Miss Turner had on something equally impressive. Oh, yes. What was that? It was a blue, same blue, not an, um, what did you call it? Baby, baby blue, blue dress with a blue scarf and the big white, you know, barnet sunglasses. Mm -hmm. and, and, a, and an opponent and a ponytail. And a ponytail with a few some extensions hanging on. Yeah. I think you'll see it in the fashion show today. Oh, yeah. In fact, uh, <laughs> uh, it's good. 70s clothes. Yep. I thought you were going to tell the zoo story. Oh, oh gosh, the zoo story. Tell the zoo story. Okay, so I think it must have been our second year or something, our third year of going to the zoo. You know that in grade four you go to the zoo for an overnight trip. And one year, the current grade eight days, even grade eight years, there was at nighttime they do this activity with just flashlights, so they really can't see much. It's really dark. And and then a, um, a raccoon came in front of and skulked out in front of one group, and they didn't know what it was, and they screamed. And we continued, but then it was really hard because it was, it was sobbing, there were tears. <laughs> what did they cry about? Oh, the fear, oh yes. Don't worry, that won't happen. That wasn't, that was my age. Um, that was but not your group. I wasn't eight. <laughs> yeah. 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 Of course yeah. not, we're getting sure. scared because yeah. I thought that From then on, people kept thinking, oh no, there's going to be something else, oh no. Yeah, yeah. it's really funny. Wow. I think, I think for me, it was going to camp as well with the grade seven kids. And two years ago we had so many new grade seven kids for our grade seven classrooms that we wanted to do a little bit of team building. So we went away with grade seven kids in the fall instead of our usual trip, which was going to Ottawa in May. And it was really, really fun, but we were like camp counselors as their teachers, right? So it, it set a, a kind of a weird uh, dynamic for the rest of the year, I have to say. But there was, uh, how many of you guys have been ziplining before? So many. Well, I, I'm not so good at it. <laughs> so I was there with my grade sevens, and we had to go up this really, really rickety ladder that sort of did this as you went up to stand on a platform and then go on the zip line. And I finally made it up the ladder, and then I stood on the platform. But there is no way I'm going down. There is no way. And my grade sevens were really cool, and they kept sort of encouraging me. You can do it, Miss McCall, and I I couldn't do it. And it took as much guts to go back down the ladder again. Oh, and they were still, they were still really well, sort of, supportive. they were really, a, yeah, <laughs> encouraging, which was really nice. To see. So in 1991, it's been a while. Um, Peacemaker, basically Ms. Maxwell, who used to be here, and she was the admissions director. She went around and tried to look at other people's conflict resolution program, sort of their peacemaker programs, and then she put it together along with. There were a couple of other people involved in the whole process, and then they came and, and they made this program into our own, chose which program to go with, and that's how it all started. I think Miss, Miss Warbrick was around when that happened because they tried it with the fours and fives first. That was in what? 
Youth Kids is really kind of cool. So like I was saying, what we have is we have kids from another inner city school. And an inner city school is different from an independent school. We're lucky enough to be in an independent school where we have lots of adults to help us. In inner city schools, a lot of them, there's maybe one teacher for 30 kids in grade three, if you can imagine what that would be like. So those grade three students come and join our grade seven and eight students, and we just do some special activities so that they can get a big buddy. And it started with Ms. Steinhauer, who used to be here as an assistant principal. She moved to the inner city school and works as the principal there, and she and Mr. Beattie talked and thought it would be a really neat idea to start that program. So we hooked up and, and began that. So we started off with, I don't know, three years ago with kids in grade two and three from their schools seeing kids in our grade seven and eight program. And we tried a whole bunch of things. We thought we were going to teach them how to read and write. It didn't work so well. So now we just play instead, which works a lot better. <laughs> it works a lot better. Um, okay. okay, so uh, what have you done with uh, Peacemakers for your support of Thank you. All those things add their work. I'm just going to the same thing, but with the Peacemakers program, we got, it's actually now used in another school as a model, so that's, I guess, how the Peacemakers is spread. And I think youth youth has spread just because we're we're going to it's our it's our third year, we've done a lot of things. This year we've just had a mini kite day. So the big kite day that you're gonna have today with three hundred kites flying. We had maybe twenty five kites flying last Friday and the rain held off that day, so I hope it's gonna hold up today as well. And the kids loved it and they just they just took over all of Riverdale. So that's that's one fun thing that we do. And next year, like I said, we're hoping that the sort of the grade seven, eight students from the inner city school, George Webster will come and work with our grade two or three kids next year. So sort of a, a flip-flop of what we're doing already. Monkers, like the most important thing is the people and the relationships between the people. And I think one of the things that Moncrest maybe does better, or better than any other place I've ever been, any other school, any other kind of group of people before community, is Moncrest is really good at celebrating people, celebrating individuals, and then I think it's kind of neat because I think it actually really invites people to think about who you really are, and to try and not only accept it, but to actually really think hard about it, and to try and figure out who you're going to be in your life, and I think that's what's most special to me about Mom.